Hi Aries, welcome back to Born Without Boundaries. My name is Michelle, for those of you who are just arriving, and this is my channel. I am a tarot and oracle card reader, uh, astrology uh, student, a student of astrology. Um, and this is your weekly tarot and oracle card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Over here, we do the oracle card reading on, on Vimeo, I mean, on, on YouTube. And then below in the description box is a full tarot card spread, uh, a link to a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. So, though that's an option for you as well. Um, let's get into your energy. Oh, for those of you who are on platforms that allow... Uh, for commercial breaks, there's one coming up in about five seconds. Let me say thank you ahead of time, and I'll see you on the other side. Three, two, one, check your back. Thank you so much for those of you who just sat through an awkward pause. And for those of you who just sat through a commercial, that's a donation to the channel. That's actually a way to support the channel, and I'm really, really grateful for your patience. Aries, crowning your energy this week, sometimes life stings. Okay, the whole world, the net, caught in the net. But I feel like this it, this is almost like the wasp has been caught in the net. The wasp has been caught in the net of the world. The world itself is what stings. In other words, life has been hard for you. There's a lot of memories that have... Um, there's a lot of memories. There's a lot of things that have, have happened to you in the past. They are gone. They are gone. They are over with. They were very difficult things. They were not things that anybody would have ever forgotten about at all. Hard losses, tough lessons. I think this week with the emotion of the, of the full moon and the energy of a full moon and how it washes all the old away, Aries, you may be crying a great deal. You may have a lot of emotion pouring out of you. Why? Because this is an opportunity for you to start completely fresh because there's so much happiness and good things happening to you that all of that pain and all of that sorrow and all of the ways that you had compacted it, compartmentalized it to move on, to move forward because that's what you do. You just keep going. You just keep moving forward. Um, even when other people can't survive, you figure out a way to do it. But all the while... Do you feel those feelings? Do you, do you allow yourself to heal? I'm not quite sure that you have. But Aries, this week, it's not that the, yeah, it's part of a healing period, but this is essentially not just something, something bad has happened to you this week. This is a wonderful week for you to actually cleanse out all of those feelings because of those bad things that have happened to you so that you can really get a fresh start in life. This is the emotion, this is the mentality that's crowning your reading this week. I'm wondering, because I don't feel like anything bad has happened. I honestly feel like wonderful things are happening, and I think that's what's going on, is that there's so many wonderful things happening um, that you don't really know how to handle the wonderful things. And I think it's because, hold on, it's because... It's because there's no way to feel one feeling and not all of them. And that anything that you have compartmentalized over years of just moving forward is going to come out this week with the good news that you've he heard here. I really do feel like there's maybe opportunities at work. Okay. Um, chameleon, act as if. This is a shedding of skin. This is a shedding of the old ways. This is no more pretending and no more faking it till you make it. This is no more. You're shedding your old ways. You're shedding the past, those past hurts, that sorrow. And you're, you're getting ready to kind of unveil who you really are. Come hell or high water, you're going to allow yourself from this point on to be emotional, to be more honest with how you feel, and to not worry about what people think about it or how it impedes your progress actually coming together and sort of synthesizing those two parts of you and making yourself a more whole individual somebody who is much more happy and comfortable in their own skin this whole week is about shedding the past this full moon was huge for you it's about releasing all of that energy that is needed to be let go of for quite some time and learning how to move forward there is some 
this has to do with a relationship. This has to this has to do with somebody coming into your life and your life moving forward in a beautiful way. And because of this beautiful way, it's almost like you can't feel all the joy without also feeling all the pain because all that joy is attached to the vulnerability that needed to be hidden away and locked away so that you didn't feel all the pain. But Aries, this week is the week of all those feelings. All those feelings are washing away. And the beautiful thing is they're washing away to make room for the happiness that's already happening in your life. Now, this could be a great new job, a great new opportunity. This could be a promotion at work. Um, and you would get word this week or you would have just gotten word and it's just sinking in now how amazing and how much your life just turned around. This could be a relationship that you have already and the wonderful things that are happening and the fact that it's real and it just keeps getting better and the fact that it's working out is something that is quite unique, I think, in your life. Um, because it's easy for you to look the other way from love or let love go easily. Um, unless you get really into it. And then, and then it's not easy for you to let go of it at all. Um, but this is definitely something that you have been working on for quite some time. Actually, actually, and okay. Okay, this card is upside down. So this is not true love. This is something that has basically turned itself over and... Um, has sort of deflated. So it could very well be that shedding the skin is partially shedding the skin from an old relationship and letting it go and learning how to move forward from that relationship and learning how to be okay with it. And that's part of the feelings that you're feeling is because you put so much hard work and you put so much energy into making that relationship work, but you kind of had to become somebody that you weren't in order to keep fueling the relationship because the other person wasn't working as hard. So this week is about learning how good it feels to not have to dress in somebody else's clothes or wear somebody else's skin or keep trying so hard when the other person isn't. It's, it's literally about releasing and the pain that goes along with releasing and realizing that it's time and it really being time for you almost to feel the joy of the freedom of this relationship that was not working out. This is also, for, for those of you who are not dealing with relationship issues, this is also about unleashing all of those things that hurt you. That's what this card is. It's about getting back to self-love after you've allowed yourself to cleanse what was blocking you from really having that conversation with who you are. I'm going to keep, I want to keep dishing out cards because there's a story here. All right, Aries, what are you up to this week? Work looks really good. Oh, no. No, that's not your energy. Hmm masquerade going out maybe you're going to a party you know we're getting up to halloween season maybe you're going out to a party and honestly anything that is a little bit wonky or crazy right now will clear up by then because it will come out of the dark i feel like there is this energy of um looking through somebody else's eyes or somebody looking at you through somebody else's eyes somebody looking at you at a great distance or um or finally realizing who somebody really is. There you go. Ooh. Um, yeah, I don't feel you guys being afraid. I do feel it have been I, I do feel it being a big disappointment this week is being disappointed in finding out who this person really was. Uh, their truth coming out. Um, and this week, it, it could have already happened to you guys, honestly, but this week is all about you guys coping with, it's almost like, yeah, after all those emotions were released, after all the anger and all the disappointment and all the hurt and all the heartbreak, it's you accepting it accepting who they really are accepting that, that that was them all along and it isn't somebody totally different 
you know, all those excuses that you tried to make in your head of maybe they were had a mental illness or, you know, maybe it's just a phase that they're going through. I think that you have accepted that no, this is who they were all along. The mask is off. The, the, the lies the lies have been exposed. That's what's going on. The lies have been exposed. It could be somebody that you work with, the lies being exposed. This is all about um, unveiling, shedding skin, and and not only letting go of your old self, not only you, Aries, being able to be liberated and free from having to work so hard to please somebody who was lying to you. There was a lie here. Somebody was definitely putting on a face and looking through that face through somebody else's eyes. This, they were not being sincere. The face that they wore was not the truth. The truth is finally being revealed. This could actually be a project that you're working on too. I don't know, some sort of super sleuth stuff, but this is definitely revealing something, revealing the truth. Uncovering, and it would hurt you, it would disappoint you, but you can't let it go. You know, you, you need the truth. The truth is more important to you than maybe being disappointed in whoever this interaction with. It could be actually something that you're doing at work and uncovering some sort of forensic accounting that shows that your company has been stealing. It could be something like that too. But you have definitely taken place in unveiling a lie. And the person who is lying, they hold no power over you. It was just your disappointment in them. There's a liberation here, though, for you. There's absolutely liberation, Aries, because, because like I said in the beginning of the reading, you were doing too much, wearing too many hats and working too hard while they sort of fooled around underneath the covers. Could literally be that if it's a romantic relationship. And now it's almost like, ah, fuck it. Like, that's what you are. You're like, forget it, forget it, forget it. I'm just going to be who I am, be everything that I am. I don't want to continue to work at, at be, like, give up as much as I've sacrificed to continue on knowing that this is, this is your truth. If I knew that you were this all along, I would have never loved you. I would have never liked you and I would have never stuck around. And it's almost like Aries, they have been like this all along, but you have intentionally covered it up. And I think that you are owning that this week. Never before have you owned how much of the problem and the issue was actually you putting makeup on a pig. And the pig is still a pig. And now you're seeing, oh, look at all the mud and, and dirt and nastiness and slobbery that you're bringing into my life. I don't want it anymore. I have no part in this. This is over with. Ooh, damn. I want to know the deeper story. I want to pull a few more cards. You thought this person was amazing. This could be a mentor too. Yeah, this could be somebody that's older than you or, or you thought they were wiser than you and they really aren't. You could have also thought that they had your side. You, listen, you are, things are changing for the better though. I have to say that. And I think it all has to do with This disappointment, it's almost like it's giving you freedom to leave a place that you stayed for too long. Don't we do that? Seriously. Yep, another card fell out. Two more cards for you. Surrender now. And bring a gentle touch. Well, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Virgo. But I think that these two cards are just your mindset at this point. You're over it.
You're ready to let it go. You're ready to just let it burn. Like let the like use your fire to heal the situation. It's true forgiveness because it's not forgiveness with a yeah, come back to me or oh, I'll stay at this position. This I'll stay at the job even though. No. It's a wow. I I've got I've I've it's connected to this emotional healing and cleansing you went through this week. Realizing all the hurt and all the suffering that you went through. Maybe you just had like an ugly cry. I swear to God, that's what it is. An ugly cry this week. But it, it has empowered you to have strength over all the other crap that's in your life. And dealing with this situation, you're like, this is a joke. Compared to the pain that I felt and all that I've been through that I've been reminded of recently, this is, this is poppycock. This is nonsense. And it's so easy for you to let it go, Aries. It's, it's almost like a, it's a whole new world for you. It's a whole new life. It's so easy for you to let this betrayal or underhandedness or lies. You realize how stupid this all was. That this relationship, if it was a relationship, you realize after, after, going, after reviewing and finally cleaning out all of those closets that you've been hiding the hurt in, you realize how really stupid this relationship was and that you really don't need anything about it and you're not even sad that it's over. You're coming out of the dark with a clean slate, happy and able to fly. This is so gone for you that you're not going to give it a second thought. Let me turn the camera on so you can see the card. Do you see? This is the hurt. This is the world of pain. This is a lifetime of suffering, Aries, that has come up because of this full moon. And it sort of just washed over you. It washed over you in a way that was intense and ugly cry. And it made you just shed all of that heavy, the baggage that you had stored away and stocked away. It's like gone. Your closets are so clean. You could live in them now. Open up windows. Let the air in. You're finally breathing fresh air. But what it did was it reminded you all that you've been through, all that you've struggled with, maybe even recently. And it's like all this hurt and all this heartache. This disappointment, this, this masked person or situation being unveiled, you don't care. You don't care. You're moving on. You're not going to fight with it. You're not going to struggle with it. It is literally burned off and burned out. And you're finished. You're over with. You're done. I need to apply tarot to this reading because it is a little too general and I want specifics. If you want to join me over on Vimeo, please do follow the link below. I'm also going to be doing a romance reading over there. Hopefully I'll see you guys there.